Hello everybody, sorry this video is up a little bit late. I've been at Jazz Fest all day and then seeing a certain two and a half hour superhero movie for the third time, but we'll get to that tomorrow. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing for you Captain America, the first Avenger. This is the fifth movie from Marvel Studios leading up until the Avengers. Richard and I have given you reviews for the other four this past week, so if you haven't seen those, check all the links down below. But anyway, let's talk about Captain America. Captain America is a movie that I think a lot of people blah, 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 a lot of people were skeptical about at first because it's really not the easiest character to tackle, especially if you're trying to fit all these characters into one world. Having them in different decades is not necessarily the easiest thing to accomplish. Um, but but I, they did a really good job, and it, I think it surprised a lot of people because there were a lot of things going against it. First of all, Joe Johnston, the director of the movie, does not necessarily have the best track record, especially with movies like Wolfman that people did not really seem to enjoy. Um, but also, I, well, also as I said, the whole it taking place in the 40s thing, people were kind of skeptical about, about that, but that all worked out. And especially the thing that most people were concerned about was Chris Evans as Captain America. I myself admit to being pretty concerned about the idea of the Human Torch playing Steve Rogers. Because Steve Rogers is such an important character to get right. Steve Rogers is kind of the the leader of not only the Avengers, but he's kind of the leader of the Marvel Universe. He's the head superhero. Every superhero, no matter how um, angsty or angry or, you know, play by my own rules, they all look up to Captain America. He's the one hero that, um, while everyone, especially Iron Man, can have their quarrels with, everyone respects him. And so, to get if to get the ca casting wrong with him would have been just catastrophic, especially with the event, so much riding on that with the Avengers. Uh, it, it turns out he did a really good job. There was no reason to be concerned. He was pretty much the perfect Steve Rogers. I would not say that he was as good at playing Steve Rogers as, say, Robert Downey Jr. was at playing Tony Stark, because you can't always get fits that are just that perfect. But he really, really, really showed a different side to him than I have ever seen before. Uh, he was always just kind of a generic, uh, charming action star in all the movies I've seen him, pro seen him in prior to this, but he really was very Steve Rogers-like in this movie. Uh, Hugo Weaving as Red Skull I thought was brilliant. He was, um, he, I mean, he was just the perfect Red Skull. Red Skull is one of my favorite villains uh, in Marvel, in, in all of the Marvel Universe, and so I'm really glad that they got him right. Um, Peggy Carter was, was an interesting character to go with because she's not necessarily the best known uh, character in the comics, but I, th I mean, I, th I like that they kind of went with the less known character as the main female lead, because sh she was really good. There's, there's really not much not to like about this movie. It was probably my fourth favorite of the five, but I loved all five, so that's really, that's really not any sort of, um, that's not disrespecting this at all, because I would hate to disrespect Captain America. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a really good movie. Joe Johnston did a much better job than everyone, I think, expected him to do. And it was a really, really nice lead-in to The Avengers. And did, uh, I don't know, it, it was a really good movie. It's not my favorite of all of them, but it was really good. So if you haven't seen it, obviously you should check it out, along with all the others that Marvel Studios have made, even Iron Man 2. Uh, just because you have to before The Avengers comes out. I mean, come on. If you watch the show, you've probably already seen them all like a hundred times, so I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But anyway, yeah, so tomorrow is our big review of The Avengers. We've given you our reviews of all the ones building up to it. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing else to do. There's no more stalling. It's finally here. The Avengers is here. I still can't freaking believe it. Get ready, people. Tomorrow is the biggest episode of comics we've ever had. We have some special surprises in store for you. And...